Part of being a winner is knowing when enough is enough. Sometimes you have to give up the fight and walk away, and move on to something that's more productive. Donald Trump, President of the United States, has been impeached by the US House of Representatives. On the evening of Wednesday the 18th of December 2019, two articles of impeachment were approved, charging Mr. Trump with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. This means that he is only the third president in the history of the United States to be impeached. Presidents Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton were both impeached by the House, but later acquitted by the Senate. Is Mr. Trump still president? Yes, impeachment does not remove the president from office. It is only a legal statement of charges and is the first stage of two in order to remove a president from office. What happens next? The next stage of impeachment is a trial in the US Senate. House managers are selected to present the case to the Senate. The 100 US Senators are the jurors in the trial and will need to reach a two-thirds supermajority to convict a person being impeached. That means 67 of the 100 Senators, or two-thirds of the number of Senators present, must agree to convict. Failure to reach this supermajority will result in the President being acquitted. If the President is convicted, he will immediately be removed from office. Following conviction, the Senate may vote to further punish Mr. Trump by barring him from holding any future federal office. This vote will only require a simple majority. Will President Trump be convicted? Highly unlikely. Republicans make up the majority of the US Senate. It's hard to imagine mass defections of Republican senators going against their party's voters and kicking the president out of office. It would require 20 Republican senators to defect and join forces with the 45 Democrats and two independents to reach the two-thirds supermajority. Unless something extremely drastic unfolds, Mr. Trump will remain president and will contest the 2020 election. And that's the quick explanation of Donald Trump's impeachment.